And even though we're feeling this cold snap today, we are really on this winter weather roller coaster because we just received new numbers showing that January this year was the warmest on record. And now we are set and predicted to have one of the warmest years 2020 in all of NOAA's history here. They're showing this map of their scale of how they've been calculating all of these average average temperatures. So anywhere where you see this dark red, those are record highs. Anywhere where you see the bright dark blue, those are record lows there. We're seeing from our chief meteorologist Brad Panovich more information about how we are roughly two degrees Fahrenheit above the 20th century average and some of the warmest spots were the United States, Russia and Australia. Just taking a look at this, this got a lot of attention all over social media this week. It was a large iceberg that broke off of Antarctica. That's being shared on social media as we talk about this cold weather now that is affecting us all across much of the country here as we wake up on Valentine's day a major drop in the temps just take a look at this they're predicting a 24 hour temperature change in some parts of the country of 40 to 50 degrees so when you wake up Larry, everybody needs to know it's going to be a lot different than what we've been feeling lately. Yeah, absolutely. Here it's okay, but there are parts of the country, parts of the nation right now, the actual air temperature of minus nine, nine below zero Minneapolis. It feels like 18 below there. One, minus one in Chicago, three degrees of Bismarck, 21 Oklahoma City, even Dallas in the mid 20s. That's exactly where we'll be tomorrow. So, so tomorrow's okay. Tomorrow, bitterly cold. Yeah. Is that the one thing people need to know today? Well, one thing you need to know today is the fact that uh, our temperatures are going to be uh, rather chilly on the chilly side today with readings up around 50 in the afternoon, 42 degrees right here for Valentine's evening.